Hey everyone and welcome back to the channel. In this video I'm going to show you how you can find winning dropshipping products using the Salesforce tool. So what is Salesforce? Salesforce is an all-in-one product research tool that was actually designed to make your dropshipping experience more simple by diving deep into metrics which show which products are proven to sell. Oh and I almost forgot if you haven't subscribed already, I don't know what you're doing, please do A to help support this channel and B because we're going to release new dropshipping tips every single week. As Carl says in his webinar, before Salesforce, there were a lot of product research tools out there to show which specific products to sell, but they didn't quite give dropshippers the freedom to choose products that were within their niche or their passion. So Salesforce is there to help empower dropshippers to make their own decisions with products. I'm sure a lot of you are already excited to see how it works, so I'm going to go through some of our brand new as well as our most popular features. And I'm going to share my screen with you so you'll be able to see everything that I'm showing you. So the first thing I'm going to do is go on to Shopify stores here on the left hand side. Now some people have said, is all of your data legit? Is it all real? Well, of course, like any other tools, even SEMrush or Arefs, um, not all data is 100% accurate. So it is just a guide to go by. But if you do head across here, where it says any stores. If you use that drop down menu to choose verified stores, then you'll know that the figures coming from these stores are accurate um, and it shows real time data, including traffic coming into the store and product sales. Just as an example, let's start at the top here where we have Be Inspired, um, who have 12 million monthly users and 360 products in their store. Let's take a look. Cool. So not only can we see um, how much they're making each month, and this is verified, uh, we can see which countries they are selling in. And this is so important when you're running your Facebook ads to know which countries you should be targeting and where you're going to make the most profit. And if you go to similar stores within your niche, you'll be able to see what what countries they're selling in. And that way, uh, you'll know where to target your ads. So Japan seems to be their most popular country, uh, followed by the United States and the Philippines. Um, and if we go over to sales, we can see their sales in real time. So we can see on the 15th of September, they had a really good day with $51,000 in sales. Um, whereas on the 27th of August, they had $12,500 worth of sales. Yep. And then we can see how many sales they made in the last 30 days and how many orders were made in the last 30 days. So we can also do this for traffic. So if we head across to traffic and we can do this for say a three month period, a six month period, 12 month period and 18 month period, whichever is the most relevant to you. Um, so we can head across to March of 2020, we can see that they had 18 and a half million users. And then um, here in March, 2021, they had 9 million users. So why are they getting all this traffic and what products are they selling? Well, if we go across to this products tab, we can see their most popular products. So this is uh, the number one bestseller position. So this is their most popular product, which they um, launched six years ago and it's $35. If we wanted to see what theme they're using, so they use the Be Inspired theme. If this was a more common theme such as Debut, then we would be able to just click on the theme and import that straight to our Shopify store so that we could use that ourselves. We can also see which apps they're using. Cool, so they have back in stock and they're using 460. And if I was to click on one of these apps, then I could just add that app to my own Shopify store. So let's talk products. So we've already seen that they're a very successful store. They have a lot of traffic and sales and maybe my store is similar to their niche and I want to start importing some similar products into my store. What would I do? I'd go across to products again and I would go onto their number one best selling product, which is this t-shirt right here. Uh, we have the images, we have the price and we have 
when it was launched. So if I click on the signature tea, so I actually have all of this data for this product. I can see when their last order was and I can see at what time they were the most popular. For example, September the 15th, I know that was a Wednesday and that's when they have sold the highest quantity of t-shirts this month. So even though this product was published eight months ago, um, they have had their last sale one day ago, which shows me that it's still trending, it's still popular and people are still buying it. They have had um, 6,137 pounds. They've had $6,137 in sales in the last month. So I know what I could be aiming for if I was selling the t-shirt, not straight away, but I can see what is possible. From here, I can look at the variants that they have as well as the images. So from here, I can go across to the different variants they have as well as their product images. Okay, let's view the product analytics for this. Awesome. So again, with one click, I am able to bring up hundreds of AliExpress suppliers to give me both the best price for the product as well as the most popular seller. For example, all of these suppliers have had a lot of orders, so they must be trusted. A lot of people are buying from them. Um, and if we go up here, we can see our competitor store. So it's still be inspired for other products. There might be other competitors and you can see what their website looks like and how they're marketing this product. And um, if we head across to videos, these will be videos of the products and we will be able to head across to download. And we can download these videos and use them for our own product marketing. So that saves you so much time, um, especially if you can edit and you can edit some of the videos together, whatever it is that you wanna do by just downloading these product videos, you don't have to create them yourself. So let's go across to marketing. Um, so this is super useful as well as uh, the most popular countries. You can use these tags for your Facebook ad targeting campaigns. Um, so you can see how many in people are interested in these keywords and you just copy them across to your own Facebook ad campaigns. So we can see for the tag casual that this would reach 20 million relevant users on Facebook. And I would definitely wanna add that tag into my own Facebook targeting campaign. So heading back to suppliers, let's take a look at, for example, this product here because it looks the most similar and they've had the most orders. My options from here would be to view the AliExpress page and view the product analytics or import it straight to Obelo. I'm gonna go across to the AliExpress page, making sure that I have added my sales source extension to Chrome. This way you'll be able to get the most out of sales source and I will show you how right now. So say I am on this AliExpress product. With the sales source extension, I'll be able to get more data from this product. For example, the reviews, which I can then import to my own Shopify store. And here I can see what people have to say as well as the product images. Um, so I can see what it's gonna look like when it arrives to my customer. For this product, I can see that it doesn't actually change very much in price. The last very important thing I want to check is the delivery time. So this has a 10 day delivery and uh, that's pretty good for a dropshipping product. No, it's not a one day delivery like Amazon, but it's definitely not a one to two month waiting time like some other AliExpress products out there. So when we start analyzing those products, we see a whole list of AliExpress suppliers here and we use reverse image search to come up with the products with the lowest price. And um, we can also see the total amount of orders that this product has had, as well as the total supplier volume, which means how much money has been spent on this product overall. There you go. So there are some of our brand new and most popular features at Salesforce. And I'm going to give you a run through from beginning to end. If you were going to start your own store, what would your next steps be? I'm going to start with a store called Articture because I know that they did very well during the pandemic. They're a homeware store. And if you were going to start a store within this niche, I think this would be a great store for you to analyze. We also have a lot of data, so it's a pretty exciting store to analyze. Let's go. 
Awesome, so this is the Arctic Chest store. So they have 450 products and I can see that they're using the Prestige theme. If I wanted to use that theme too, I would just head across here and I can try the theme. Like I said, they are doing very well at the moment with one to two million dollars in revenue each month. Um, they're the most popular in the United States and Canada. So if you're gonna start a homeware store, you can see that these are very lucrative locations. So their average order value is about $85 um, and they have 1.5 million eyes on their store every month. If I head across to their traffic, I can see that they were the most popular in December 2020. So this is last December where they had over 5 million users on their store. And I can see that during 2018 to what 2020 yeah january of 2020 they didn't have many people on their store at all so their traffic really really escalated uh from march 2020 to december so looking at their products gives you a very good indication of why they're doing so well so you can see that this lamp here is pretty cool and it's their number one bestseller number two is this moon lamp which i'm sure you've all seen before and i actually have one in my room Let's try it in action. Okay, back to our picture. Um, and these funky knives and forks here are the, in their number three best-selling position. So if we want to analyze the product and sell something like this ourselves, what do we do? Again, we head across here to the three dots and we can either import this product straight to our Shopify store or we can view the product analytics. That way we can find the product ourselves, say on AliExpress. Awesome, okay, so again, we have a lot of data on this product. Uh, we can see that $50,000 have been sent on this product with 430 orders. Um, and if we go down here, we can see which AliExpress supplier might be the most reliable. Um, so this one here has had 111 orders and there's $140, whereas this lamp, has had nine orders but it's just 110 dollars so what i can do is if i open this up in aliexpress and i also open this one up in aliexpress so on this aliexpress product i can see that it's on sale 30 percent off at 97 pounds and i can also see that they have 17 4.8 star reviews and i can see that um it'll take about three weeks to arrive Whereas I can see that this product is a little bit cheaper, about 10 to 20 pounds cheaper, depending. Um, they have two five-star reviews, but having as little as two reviews is always a red flag because you don't know um, if they're actually a trusted seller. And it also takes a lot longer to arrive. So this is a bit of a no-brainer. I'm gonna go with this product here. Um, so. If I go back to the analyze stores before I import this product, I can go onto competitor products and I can see other stores that are selling the product uh, for how much they're selling it for. I can head across to descriptions and these I'll be able to copy for my own stores. I'll probably change the wording a little bit and I can also use this for my Facebook ad campaigns so I don't have to spend hours um, on copywriting or pay a copywriter to write these descriptions for me. I can also go across to images if I need any of these for my ad campaigns or for my product page, I can simply download them. And videos, again, I can just head across to these three dots and hit download. Right, now for the finale, I feel like I'm ready to import this to my store. So if I head across back to suppliers, um, if I choose the product that I want to import, was this one right here and then I can just hit import to Obolo and it will import that straight to my store because my Shopify store is integrated with Salesforce which I can show you here on the left hand side on Shopify right so um, this is my default store so the product will have been imported straight to the store and I can see that on my Shopify dashboard Thank you guys so much for watching this. For more videos like this, make sure that you subscribe to the channel. Don't do it before you leave. Do it right now. I'll give you two seconds. Done? 
Okay, we also have our Instagram and Facebook and Twitter accounts below. So to keep up to date with all things dropshipping, be sure to subscribe to those too. And I will see you here next time. If you have any questions or if you found SalesSource useful, make sure you let us know in the comments below. Thank you.